everybody. Good morning. It's Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. And I normally don't do haul videos, but yesterday my hubs and I went wandering. And I have to show you what I got. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use all of it right now because I am in the process of packing up my studio to move it into my new studio, which is going to be fantastic. But I still had to show you. Um, these are actually stencils when I took the class with uh, Diane Reevely that I did not have and I really enjoyed the way they looked. So um, these I actually ordered from a place up in Geneva, New York called Inky Hot Mess and we picked them up on the way home yesterday. So these I got. I love this stencil. I can't wait to use it. This I got in Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, I want to be able to make my own envelopes and I just I haven't done that yet so um, I picked this up of course I used my 40% off coupon so it only cost me like 20 bucks so that's really cool uh, some of this other stuff I got some stuff here but this we went to where did we go well here's one we went to the Rochester art supply store and in the Rochester art supply store I found these stencils um, couple of these are from stencil girl products here's let's start out here's this one this is a perpetual calendar I really like that um, it doesn't say who did it it just says stencil girl I don't know if this is a Carolyn Doobie or not I'm not sure but I got that this one I got it's got the past present future this is Seth um, his and I thought this was really cool so I picked that up this one I just love the design so I got that stencil um, and I also picked up these two uh, just because you know I love my dots those little dots and then this one so I picked up those two I also picked up a couple um, large double-sided tapes and these I plan to use um, making some more journals so I got those I picked up two of these glue markers, um, one I already have over on my other desk. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that was it. Nope, I'm sorry, I got the Glamour Dust. I got a thing of that. That was from, this is all I got. At the Oh, no, 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 one more thing from the art store. Yay! Look at this puppy. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to use this. This huge jelly plate is 14 and a half inches by I'm guessing here 12 14 and a half by 12 I cannot wait to get this <laughs> get this open and use it you have no idea how excited I am um, we were standing there we were walking around the art store I was like <gasps> my husband's like what's wrong what's wrong <clears throat> I'm like, look at the size of that jelly plate. I can't wait. I can't wait to play with this. So I'm really, really, can you tell I'm really excited? <laughs> so I got that at the art store yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to start playing with this. But anyways, let me show you the rest of the stash I got here. Um, before I go into these, I went, oh, what the heck. I went to, of course, we found a Tuesday morning. And I found some really cool things in Tuesday morning. Um, let me start here. Okay. This. Oh, the, you know what? This jelly plate is going to be fantastic. Because I've got tons and tons and tons of scrapbook paper. And some of it is just plain ugly. Well, guess what? I can jelly print over the whole sheet now. I'm excited. Anyways, I found this. And um, this is a jelly bean. It says it's a placemat craft frames. What I intend to use it for is exactly this um, as a stencil to use on my jelly plate. And I thought that would be cool that I could actually cut, you know, um, these squares with the words out. I just thought that would be neat. So I'm going to use that on the jelly plate. Um, I also found these two. They're the same thing. They're these uh, placemats is what they call them. It says, you are the peanut to my butter, water to my ocean, spring in my step. Step is messed up. Twinkle in my eye, blue in my sky, sweet in my dream, beat of my heart, and love of my life. And I just thought that would be cool. I'm using this as a stencil as well. Um, I also found this one. Again, stencil. These are made out of paper, but as long as you aren't rough with them um, and once they get a few coats of paint on them it's just like making plastic over them so 
Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to use those on the jelly plate. I also found this Heidi Swap stencil, excuse me, mask of the butterflies. I thought that was cool. And I found these. They're clear expressions. They're transparencies that go over pictures. And I thought they'd be fun to play with. So I got those at Hobby Lobby. I picked up another poker. This is a poker because my girlfriend and I always have to pass the poker back and forth when we're playing together. Um, I picked up a Smashbook pink pen. I just like the way they write. What else did I get in Hobby Lobby? I picked up a couple of these little guys. These are originally from the Smashbooks. Um, I got a bunch of tags. Now these are really cool because these are seven gypsies. And um, as you know, I've been... Um, I, I got notification that I'm actually on the, the Canvas Corp design team, and they use a lot of Seven um, Seven Gypsies is one of their um, brands that they use. So I thought this was really cool. So I picked these up, and I love to make tags, as you guys know. Um, so I, of course I had to get one of every size and color. All right, so that's those. I found this at, this I think I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, this was on clearance. It says, Gone Crazy. We'll be back in 10 minutes. I thought that was kind of cool, that stamp. So I got that. Um, let's see. What else did I get? I'm not sure what else I got. Not much at Hobby Lobby. No, actually, I got this a Tuesday morning. I apologize. The only thing I got at Hobby Lobby was the envelope maker. I found these creative coloring bookmarks. I thought these were really cool. So I picked up a pack of these. This, was, again, was at Tuesday morning. And I just thought they were kind of neat. This one's got cakes and butter um, cakes on it. Birthday cakes. This one's got cookies. Thought they were cool. These will make really cool bookmarks. I love this one, the coffee. The coffee cups got me. So there's that one. And then there is clothes on the line. Aren't they cool? I thought they'd make really cool little bookmarks. So. Got those. Something good to do while you're sitting binge binge watching Netflix to sit in color. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. I think this is it for the Tuesday morning and the art store. So that's Tuesday morning. Now we went to this other location. Um, it's called Dan's Crafts and Things. And the reason we went here is because they have uh, HO scale train stuff and my husband has an HO scale layout. So they have everything from latch hoop rugs to train sets. It's dance crafts and things. And I found some really cool things there that I picked up and I figured I'd show you. Uh, the first one is this. This actually is the tool that you put these, uh, bre not brads, Oh, I can't think of the name. Grommets. Um, this is the tool that you put these grommets in with. And these will be really great for when I'm making journals. So I picked that up. I found these two... Um, my words are not coming to me today. Uh, but I don't want to say bezels. Anyway, these are two for pieces of jewelry. And I want to play around with uh, these and make a couple unique pieces of jewelry. So I got these. I found this pearlizing paint, uh, per, excuse me, pearlizing medium, which will take any paint color and give it that pearl tone to it. So I picked that up. Whoops. Uh, I also found this Aileen's super thick tacky glue. Look at that. Can you see it? I mean, it is super, super thick. So, I had to pick that up because, you know, you can always use glue for something. And I thought that would be great, like, when I'm using, um, I plan on, when I do the canvas corp stuff, I plan on doing a lot of work with some uh, burlap canvases, and this will be fantastic to hold stuff on. So I picked that up. This is something I have never seen before. Gray gesso. Uh, I've never seen it before. So this is made by it, uh, Art Advantage, 
It's made in the USA, comes from Oregon, and it's eight ounces of gray gesso. There it is. So I thought this was really cool. I'm going to try it. We'll play with it, see what it does, um, and just have fun with it. So I found that, which is really neat. Got myself a little tiny funnel because I have a great big huge thing of black gesso. And I have a little bitty bottle that i got to put it in, so that will work for that. And then last but not least, I found these. Um, these were actually in their um, wedding stuff. And they're these little leaves. Let me just bring you in this way. It's easier. There we go. There are these little leaves that have glitter on them. And I thought these would make the cutest angel wings, wouldn't they? They're just so sweet. So I picked these up. And again, this is at Dan's Crafts out in Rochester, New York. So that is the end of my goodies. This is a December flyer. But to tell you, I am so, 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 so excited to get working with this jelly plate. I cannot wait. However, like I said, I'm in the process of packing things up and getting it ready to move and uh, it's going to be a rough next few weeks because all I want to do is play in my art, but very shortly this desk will be torn apart. So I wanted to get this video in here and show you all the goodies that I got. Like I said, I normally don't do hauls like this, but I just had to show you the biggest things was the gray gesso and this jelly plate. I'm just, I cannot wait to get started with this. This is going to be a blast. So as always... Um, what I say is be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating, and welcome to December, and I hope you guys have a wonderful month, and I will be back, and we'll chat soon. All right? Take care. Bye.